everybody and welcome to the 22nd episode of Healthy Living with Marilyn. We are now in season two. This is episode two and I'd like to welcome everybody to Healthy Living with Marilyn as we are going to light the fire beneath you tonight. Um, my co-host is Lisa Hazelgrove. She's been my co-host for a couple weeks. I appreciate you coming, Lisa. Well, thank you. I appreciate you having me. And um, Lisa and I have done some things this week. We were at a heel meeting yes, that I hosted, and, and we did a scarf dance. And we did. That was fun. It was like lighting the fire beneath us. It was way cool. And yes, there were like 10 or 12 of us there. It was, it was a good, good turnout. Good turnout. Good turnout. So we had a good time, and HEAL is the acronym for holistic. Holistic Educators Affecting Lives. Mm -hmm. Lisa started it several years ago, and I came on board with her, and then we sort of went in the dormant stage, mm -hmm. and now we're trying to revamp it. Revive. And revive it. And if you are not in the holistic realm but want to learn more about it, yes. we'd love for you to come to our meetings. We're going to start having them the second Tuesday of the month at Residence Float and Sound at Sycamore Square. Lisa and I will be posting more information of that on both our Facebook pages. We're trying to get a networking group up of not only holistic healers, people who are interested in holistic healing. We had several people last night who came who really didn't know a whole no, lot about they holistic didn't. healing. They just wanted to know more. They wanted to know more. So think about coming next time. Um, either get in touch with Lisa, yeah. Lisa at LisaHealthy.com, or you can get in touch with me at healthylivingwithmarilyn.com and just send me through something through contact and it'll come to my email. Or you can call me at 804-350-0034 anytime. If you're going in the middle of the night, if you live on the other side of the earth, just leave a message. I guarantee you, I will call you back. Just leave a message. If you don't leave a message, I'm not gonna call you back. So please leave a message. Um, we are really, excited tonight. We are really going to be ramping up the fire beneath us and mm -hmm. getting us going. And I have a wonderful guest that I met several months ago, Joni Advent Maher, who helps women get their mojo going. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Yes. Right? Right, Joni? Yeah, absolutely. See? Thank, and thank you so much for coming. We really mm -hmm. appreciate it. Um, it's great to have guests who are enthusiastic and motivated and yes. want to come on the show yes. because this it is a commitment. It's about two and a half hours that you're here. And as we know, you can't get time back. No. So, um, but I appreciate both my friends here. They're wonderful women. They're wonderful friends. They're great supporters. Yes. And um, it's great to have people around you that are not only going to support you but motivate you and be there for you when you need them. Um, the one thing that I'm excited about that I just got from UPS this afternoon, I am a, um, yes I am, this is my book. I am a, um, what is that called Joni, I just can't, I just can't. Contributor. Uh, Co contributor author contributing author of this book and my name's on the front because Yes. I'm the one that's selling them for me, and it's called <laughs> Yes You Can, Go For It, Achieving Your Dreams. It is so important to achieve your dreams. We are having, Judy and I, Judy Richards and I are having a retreat next month called Creating the Amazing You, where you can create your dreams and create your goals and mm -hmm. find out really what you want to do. It's October 13th, 14th, and 15th, and I figured I'd put that in okay. since we were talking about your dreams. Um, if anybody wants to get one of my books, I will be more than happy to um, autograph it for you and get it to you, put it in the mail. They are uh, 12 bucks, $12, so, um, and there's a lot of other contributors in here, and many of them are my colleagues, and we are just speakers, motivators want to, you to do the best you can do and be the best you can be. So that is my wonderful thing for today. Um, I got something from UPS that said Amazon was going to be sending me something and yeah. I didn't know. I looked back on my Amazon thing and couldn't, couldn't, find, couldn't it. find it and it's like, and so I figured, oh, Joe Hausman was sending it. Okay, mm. thanks, Joe, if you're watching. Um, my friend Joe, she lives up in uh, South Dakota. Oh, wow. Yeah, she loves it out there. She loves the snow. 
gosh bless her, you know, more power to her. Yes, right. Um, a six inch snow for her is nothing. Mm. A, six inch, a six inch snow for us yeah. totally stops the, yeah. it stops Everyone everything. Down. It does, shuts right? everything down. So, but even if something like that stops you, you can move through it, yes. which is really, really important. Yes. So that's what we'll be talking about. And um, I had found some wonderful, wonderful quotes after Jacob left. I had to watch Jacob for a couple of days because he got was playing in the sandbox and he got sand in his eyes and it was a little mm. bit debilitating. And, sure. Mm. Um, he said to me today, no more sandbox, Grandma. No. So, yeah, no more sandbox, <laughs> oh. really. He had had sand on his eye, his hand, and he went like this with his hand and right. got it in his eye. Oh. So so he's been kind of emotional, and, but he was glad that he got to spend two days with me and didn't have to share me with his brother. There you go. So there you go, you know, win-win <laughs> situation. So um, the beauty of motivating yourself. Yes. is so important and there's been times when I've been down in the dumps if you haven't been down in the dumps how do you know how to get out of the dumps if you haven't been sad how do you know how to be happy you know um, if you haven't been angry how do you know how to be happy or how to be if you haven't been fearful how do you know not to be fearful right you know so that's what we're talking about tonight and um, I've been putting a lot of Be Amazing posts on my Facebook page every single day. I get up I and it. do them every day, yes. and um, I've gotten a lot of positive vibes from them and positive statements and comments from people. And I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing it because I want to light the fire underneath people, yeah. just like you do, Joni, yeah. right? Yes. So um, how do you light the fire underneath somebody? Well, really, it starts with people tuning in and listening to their heart because it's that it's that desire that's deep in our heart that is is like the little pilot light mm -hmm. you know and it's that kind of like so, blowing on that light to so you you fuel the fan the flame right right so it starts with that with really tuning in and seeing like what is it what is that desire what is that dream that i think is beyond what's what's what possible you, what's possible right and usually that idea that it's not possible usually comes from someone outside of us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so it's a matter of identifying who whose idea is that anyway right whose opinion is that anyway yeah 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 and say to that per about that opinion i can do it Right. You know, you need to have yes. those words embedded in your system, right, Joni? I can do it. I am going to do this, regardless of what anybody says, mm -hmm. regardless about what anybody thinks. You know, when I, I was a little bit inhibited on Tuesday night going to do that scarf dance, and I was thinking, everybody's <laughs> going to think Marilyn's crazy. No. You know, and then I thought, I don't care if everybody thinks Marilyn's crazy. We're just going to do it because we need to yeah. let loose and free ourselves from moments of despair, from moments of what's not going on in your life. We right. all have bumps in the road every single day, yep. but they're yes. bumps. Yes. Yes. Work bumps. through them. Yep. Light that fire in your belly and get yourself going. Right, Lisa? Yeah, well, I like that quote by um, Steve and Covey. It's, motivation is fire from within. If someone else tries to light that fire under you, chances are it will burn very briefly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yep, it'll burn briefly. Like so that. you need to do it yourself. Yes. yes. Right? And, yes. <laughs> and I do think surrounding yourself with, with people who mm -hmm. can yeah. see the possibility. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes it's not the people that we're most intimate with. Right. You know, those are the people that we've kind of been hanging out mm -hmm. in that same mode and mm -hmm. way of being. And not that we need to get rid of those people, but to really bring in even one person can make a huge difference right yes. because we all have those moments where you know where we dip yeah <laughs> where, yeah. where the self-doubt yeah. kicks or, in or, or your happiness <laughs> dissipates right right and and you have that little to no energy and you're you feel emotionally drained right, right. um or you're tired. Or you're tired. Your enthusiasm, your mental. Uh, your get up and go, got up and, and went. emotionally, yeah, is, <laughs> really? is gone. Yeah, has get up, has got up and gone. That's right, got up and went. 
really. So yeah. Um, yeah. So having having a tribe or having yeah. a tribe of one or a tribe of two, you know, people that really can hold that vision for you right. and hold the vision of who you mm -hmm. are in that dream mm -hmm. and achieving that. It and motivating you. Yes. I've always told people yes. a dream is one thing. Make it into a goal. Yes. Write it down. Put it on your mirror. Put mm -hmm. it on your door. Right. Put it wherever you want so you will see it every single day. Put it on the visor of your car. Put it on your dashboard. Wherever yes. you can remember to keep you motivated enough. I learned that a long time ago when my kids were real little or not real little anymore, um, no. when my babysitter had three hours and 45 minutes and whatever all around her house, on mm. her bathroom mirror, everywhere. And I said, Ruth, why do you have that? And she says, she was a triathlete. She says, that's the time I gotta be. Wow. Wow. That's the time yeah. I have to be. And it's it wasn't against beating anybody else. No. She didn't have somebody, I wanna beat Jane Doe or whatever. She had a time, mm -hmm. she, she was running against mm -hmm. the clock. She was cycling against the clock, swimming against the clock. All, most triathletes and most people who are runners and racers, they, they don't race against the person that mm -hmm. next to them, they race against the clock. Mm -hmm. By you themselves. Know, by themselves, right. Mm -hmm. And that kept her motivated. So putting positive affirmations out there, surrounding yourself with people who are motivating you, who support mm -hmm. you, who are positive. You don't want to be around negative people. Um, mm -hmm. If somebody's having a bad day, you might want to say, well, let's schedule it to see you another day. Um, that's what I normally do if yeah. somebody's having a bad day. Um, if I'm having a bad morning, I try to turn it around as fast as I can. You know, But I'm taking a class right now where I'm, I'm meditating 15 minutes in the morning and then I have a a journal, a brand new journal that I have with butterflies on it mm -hmm. that um, I have to write down words that are just coming into mm -hmm. my head and don't think about them, just write them and then close the book. Mm, interesting. So you could do that, you know, meditate for like 15 minutes. Um, there's some apps out there. The one I use is Binaural Beats Theta mm -hmm. Waves. Um, it's a great app. It's got a timer on it, so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. I don't have to worry about, oh, how long am I doing this? Mm -hmm. I just can just let go and the clock will tell me when I'm done. Well, I'm also remembering what Lisa mentioned about intention. intention. Right. And that is a biggie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell your story? Well, I, that yeah. Was, sorry to. <laughs> no, no sorry to you're fine. <laughs> okay. Well, and, and we talked a little bit about it when I was, um, what, a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, yeah. And I talked about Lorenzo's oil and how, um, mm. uh, for better lack of uh, the uh, young man's father's name, Nick Nolte played the father. Mm. And it was his determination, his drive mm -hmm. to find a, a solution for his son. And you know, I always think of my son and how I wanted to help him 14 years ago. And you know, they, I even go back to calling it my why. You know, mm. why am I doing what I mm -hmm. do? So when I get those moments where, um, you know, my excitement's gone. And, you know, those, those dreams that I have or I'm working on a project or I'm pursuing a new career or whatever it is, I'm committed to doing something. Maybe it's in my relationship. Maybe it's achieving my financial goal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's suddenly gone. Then that's when I dig down deep and I think, why are you doing this? Mm. And that's what brings back my intention, that motivation. Mm -hmm. And it, it makes me able to rise above that the adversity. That adversity or that, you know, I can't do that. And, you know, I remember 14 years ago, um, it was a terrible mantra, but I used to say, no one can help me. Mm. Mm. And it wow. was in such a deep, deep depression and such, get you. such a place of hopelessness that, um, yeah, that it was, you know, coming back to that, why am I doing this and remembering mm -hmm. that. Um, it, motivation is the energy that drives us to accomplish our goals. It's necessary for all types of our success. Motivation is power. I like that statement. Mm -hmm. And how you can recapture your motivation in this article that I was reading. Number one, readjust your focus. So if you are having those moments of, of sadness or hopelessness, readjust that and think of or that imagery, um, imagery uh, type of 
Mm -hmm. You know, you can think of the beach, you can think of something that makes you happy. You can get out some paint you, and start coloring you, or painting. Paint, paint a picture. Paint a picture. Yeah. Or get one of those coloring books, those men, new yes. mandala coloring books for oh, adults. Oh, they're very nice. <laughs> and you know something? You can you can color outside the lines. Yes, you can. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> says you have to color inside the lines. Yeah. You can certainly color outside the lines. <laughs> There's no rules. You're not getting graded on no it. No rule for that. Number two, identify your greatest sources of inspiration and motivation. So mm. Lorenzo's Oil, that mm. movie, inspires me. Mm. Uh, and it, again, refocuses, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, helps you relight the to fire. To realign, yeah, yes, and, and realign. reignite that mm -hmm. fire. And number three, identify environments and activities that unlock energy and creativity. You were just saying that. Paint a picture. Paint a picture. Go outside. Walk and... Yes. Um, Write a poem. Walk on the earth, you know, barefoot. Right. You know, get those free electrons yes. through your feet. And yes. look at the, the beautiful sunshine. Hopefully the sun is out that day and you can get that sun through your Who eyes. Who cares if the sun isn't but out? If it's look not at the out, clouds. But look at the clouds, yeah. You know, I look at it this way. I'm not a morning person, okay? <laughs> we talked uh, about that. <laughs> I am not a morning person. I do get up a lot of times when I run out of sleep. Yes. A couple of days ago, I got up at 5 o'clock in the morning. It's like, what is this? And my husband came out. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just ran out of sleep. A little <laughs> early, 5 o'clock in the morning, but I do. I run out of sleep. It's. I think when I sleep so deep, Yes. when I wake up, it's like, okay, God says, you're, you're, you're done. You're done. You, you got to get up. The body says, I've got enough. So I got up, and um, I was doing for myself, mm -hmm. but I thought, um, you know, it's time to rock and roll and do what I need Start to do. And day. I got motivated, and I was thinking about all the things that I wanted to do, and, um, you know, I had all this time. Mm -hmm. And it is so important to do what you want to do. For yes. so, you got to have some me time, bottom line. Yes. You've got to have some me time. <laughs> it is yeah. so important yeah. um, mm -hmm. to have me time. Um, one thing I wrote, I survived because the fire inside me burned brighter than the fire around me. Wow. wow. I, that's powerful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that your is, new mantra, by the mm, way. Yeah, really. really. <laughs> you need to put that on your website. Because the fire burned. Can you tell us about yes. that? Yes, tell us more about that. Well, um, I think it was when... Uh, it was suggested that I start a TV show, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, I can't do that. And I thought about it, and <laughs> I decided, okay, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. So Jump off that I still had was watching the kids. I said, I can balance this. My intuition uh -oh. said, you can do this. Can do when my intuition says, I can do this, or if one of my kids say, I can do this, or a friend says, I can do this, I'm dumb enough to believe them. <laughs> no. I'm gullible, you know. Okay, I can do this. <laughs> so I decided to rebrand myself and do a TV show. And then before that, I was on the radio once a week as a doctor in residence out in Ferguson, Missouri. And it just kept evolving and evolving. And I just got so motivated mm. to do this show to enlighten people that there's other alternatives out there besides Western medicine. Well, there's that hope. You're giving hope. Right, yeah. right. And I have something in hope. Hope sees the invincible, feels the intangible, and achieves the impossible. Mm. I like that one. Mm -hmm. That's by Anonymous. So if Anonymous, if you're out there, <laughs> you want to take credit for this, get back in touch with me. No, but I might steal that from you. Okay, you can steal. <laughs> but it's Anonymous. So don't give up hope. You're just going to call XYZ and tell them you might be a little late. And that's yeah. what I did. Yeah. You know, so there are other ways to get around it, but don't ever say, I can't. You take those two words and throw them out the window. Can't should never be in your, your vocabulary. Yeah. So, you um, know, I, you, the hope part, it just, again, just resonates with me because, you know, having lost it uh, a few years ago, I saw on Facebook they had a video. Uh, Danzel Washington was giving a speech at a, a college, and, um, it just if you can find that you need to google it and watch that whole video it was powerful and and, and one of the parts of his speech he said you know when you, you get somewhere and you've gotten to that successful reach down and pull somebody else up oh. right that right. just really wow. you know resonated with me because i thought that's what i was looking for was someone to reach down and pull me up yes. but sometimes that person was me Mm -hmm. yeah. to reach down in the depths 
of within of despair and and, yeah. and, and find that fire and it reignited yes. and and pull myself up as my mom used to say pull yourself up by your bootstraps mm -hmm. but there's sometimes you're just down there so low it's it's you just need it, but if someone reached down and gave you a hand up wow that that's powerful well the other thing yes. is I do not like to be have a pity party no. and like I got off my rabbit trail when I was talking about getting up in the morning the the thing that I do when I when my feet hit the floor is like, thank you God for getting me up. The rest of my day's downhill. <laughs> You're breathing. Hey. Just just give it. Just bring it on. You're I'm breathing. ready for it. We're, I'm just ready for we're it. We're good just to bring go. It on. So right. um, yes. one foot in front of the that's other. That's right. That's right. And yes. I don't like to spend time feeling sorry for myself because yes. I don't want to have. I, to be honest with you, I just don't want to have a yucky day. No. Nobody who, wants who to wants, have. Who a, wants to have a yucky day? Exactly, no. exactly. So if you're no. not into having a yucky day, pick yourself up and light that fire in you, and think about all the w wonderful things that you, that you do that you know. You know, you might want to write grateful. The grateful thing, the things I'm grateful for. Yeah. Gratitude. Yes. You know, gratitude. Write yourself something and make yourself a gratitude journal even if it's just thank you lord i'm breathing today thank that's you. right thank you lord i'm on this side of the grass today yeah. you yeah. know I'm walking. <laughs> I'm walking i'm walking i'm walking i mean four months ago i sprained my ankle that's right um i i fixed it because i knew how right. to fix it right you know mm -hmm. yes, and lisa helped me that. with my arm and i mean i'm yeah. back to normal so um not that i was abnormal but I couldn't walk. You weren't 100%. Much. I wasn't 100%, and I was using my left hand. We talked about that last week with Sio, you know, doing different things, w using your non dominant hand for oh. things. Well, I had to use my non dominant hand <laughs> to, write? Because, to do anything because yeah. I couldn't mm -hmm. move this arm at all. Yeah. Wow. I could do this, but I, I could go about yeah. this high, but it was painful. It was really painful because Frozen I. Frozen shoulder? No, I tore, oh, I right. tore my yes. rotator cuff yes. and my tricep. Yes. Don't do that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so I, I did want to say I, I'm totally on board with you. And there are those times in life when life is handing out some really hard things. I know. And I, one of the um, quotes that I love is Winston Churchill. And he says, if you're going through hell, keep going. Right. Like, keep going keep, keep putting one foot in, in front, front of the of other, the other well, and knowing some you know the light is at the end of the tunnel well especially this month with with what's going on yeah you know, with, with florida and yes. texas, and it, texas. Yes. It, it's yeah you know and and i will tell you i have been motivated by watching these videos mm. of people that have nothing left and yet they still have a smile on their face mm -hmm. right and find the place of gratitude. They are finding, find they are the finding things to be grateful for. That they're how alive, to be number of, one. Yeah, right? How to be of service. Yes. And how to be to of be service. A, yes. To be alive. Is, mm -hmm. When people are in that situation, it seems like they all just come together. Mm. You know, and the fire, whether you're a man, a woman, the fire is just is brought up in you. How that happens, it could be intuitive, it could yeah. be God, it could be your motivation, it could be, yeah. we are not going to let this disaster get us down. Right. You know, and you don't have, to, you can have that same statement for yourself, I'm not going to let this chaos get to me. Right. I'm just not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You don't need to have this chaos get you down. You can find ways to handle it. There are... You know, you can use homeopathic remedies. You can use Bach flower remedies. Um, there's a lot of magnets. different magnets. <laughs> there's a lot of things that you can use um, that you can utilize. Talking to other people, positive talk. Mm -hmm. Doing something nice for somebody else, even if it's something simple like opening up a door. Yeah. You know, saying have a nice day. Yeah. I actually saw yes. something else on Facebook today. It was a young man, and he um, gets in his car, and he, I think it was Chicago, and he has water bottles and food, and he's handing it out mm. to people. And you know what? Um, he knows them by name. And, and wow. you know, they're so grateful for what he's doing, and they thank him, and it's just a blessing. Like the hom homeless the people? The homeless. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. What a yeah. blessing yeah. that he's doing, right? Yeah. And he's, and think of what, you know, you say you're giving to people, but what are you getting in return? That's, mm -hmm. You're getting a lot that, in that's return. That's priceless what you're getting in return. I mean, even helping a ho homeless person on the road if you've got water or, um, 
I try to have snacks in there and a yeah. couple bottles of water. Someone, and I've done that before. Um, I know she does. Well, of course, purses and backpacks is what she oh. does. Mm -hmm. And she like an old purse or an old uh -huh. backpack. She get up at Goodwill and she fills it with water bottles and food that's not you know, uh, I guess non perishable. Yeah. Probably like your um, uh, your protein bars and things like that. Something mm -hmm. that they can get and yeah. yeah. I mean, or gloves. Just think about you know we're getting into. The fall here, weather. And it'll be a lot colder for people. So, or maybe just a blanket that you could fold mm -hmm. up. That's you know. Yeah, I mean, just being kind to somebody that you don't even know. Yep. You know, give a smile. I remember a couple years ago when Jacob was a lot younger. Um, we were in the grocery store, and he was asleep at the time. He was in his stroller, and the lady who was checking us out she was having a really bad day and i said man i am going to turn her day around if it's the last thing i do Good for you and when we were almost done and she wasn't really talking that much and you could tell i could tell her energy was down mm. and her her she had a scowl on her face and she was just not a happy camper okay Jacob opened his eyes, looked right up at her, and smiled. And I'm telling you, that totally changed that lady. I bet like, it did. You would not believe. I, she glowed. She had a aw. smile on her face. She says, he is beautiful. Thank you so much for making my day. It's like, I was just determined, and yeah. I so, didn't have to do anything. Jacob no, you did didn't. It all, you Sometimes know? they say, all you can, uh, if all you can do is smile, do that. That's right. Say, have a nice day. I've said to people, have a nice day, and they look at me, it's like, I know, right? What's wrong with you? <laughs> and they'll say, oh, yeah, you have a nice day, too. And a lot of times they change their, yes, tone. their tone and their attitude and their mm -hmm. energy might change. And some people think, oh, what is she up to? You know? <laughs> I know, right? No, I'm just trying to make you happy. Have a nice day. Right. A smile well, you know can go a long way. Well, you know why they do that is it's, we're just so um, involved in our own our own lives, our, our own, own lives, chaos. and it could be our own, own sorrow, world. it could be something yeah. um, that we just are not aware. And this is so unusual for us to say, hey, have a nice day, what well, it shouldn't be. It's, no. You're right. right. We need no. to change that. I right. mean, some people, they'll smile, and some people say, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. You know, or they just don't quite get it, but <laughs> get it, friends, get it. Get that fire underneath you. Remember, you can turn impossible into possible. Okay. And there's ways to do that. Um, do something positive for somebody. Do something positive for yourself. Go out and go for a walk. Um, take a class. Yes. Yeah. Take know. class. Yeah. Yes. I was going to say empowerment. Just, just even starting with one small thing. It's right. Like taking action, doing something different than you've been doing, right. is very helpful. Yeah. You know, even I've, if it's one degree, you know, yeah. one degree. Read shifts a, yeah. is going to get you in a read, new Read a book. Place. Read a, something for personal development. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to somebody. Talk to, talk to one of your friends who's having a great day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they can turn you around. It's so important for you to do for you mm -hmm. because um, I've got another good one here. She's got that whole purpose-driven warrior princess save the world type mm -hmm. vibe. Wow, I like that even better. You know. <laughs> I'll, I'll um, take that one. <laughs> Say that again. Can you say She's it again? got that whole purpose driven warrior princess save the world type vibe. <laughs> like Wonder Woman. I, but I like I like this though. Warrior, yeah. warrior princess. Warrior princess. I, I, I'm gonna own that one because I I like warrior princess. <laughs> Be a warrior princess. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, go out and do something that you never thought you'd do. That you never thought you'd do. I did that. Um, when I was asked if I could teach a class on sleep, I said, sure. I had, <laughs> yeah. no, I had no clue how to do that. Well, I, I just said, sure, I can do that. And I just faked it till I made it, right? Yeah. Well, I did that with my TV show. I, it's like, you go. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Now we've got it simulcast on Facebook. That's we've got right. it on YouTube. And if y'all go to my YouTube channel, I'd appreciate it. Yeah. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, Healthy Living with Marilyn Living. I'm really looking on increasing my um, my subscriptions, my subscribers. Mm -hmm. And um, and that way we, we can't ever miss a show. That's right. You won't ever miss a show. Mm -hmm. So if you get a chance Shows to Shows up that, in your inbox. Yes. Yes, yes. it does. I know. Yeah, That's what I liked about it. <laughs> yeah. So it will remind you it does that Healthy Living in, with Marilyn is on. And we're on every mm -hmm. week at 8 o'clock on Thursday night, every mm -hmm. single week. If you don't get a chance to watch us through the lives, you can catch us on the tape. You know, they're recorded. We yeah. always have it recorded. 
can check my Facebook page. It's always on there. Check my YouTube channel. Make a comment. Like it. Um, you know, give me some support. I, I want to help you guys, but I would like the support too. Okay. You know. Um, and you're at, that's great. You're asking. Yeah. You're asking that's for wonderful. what you want. You go, yeah. you go that's warrior princess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Lisa. Yeah, okay. we, we need to start a warrior princess group. I, I want to start one. Can we start one? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's great. I, know, I think maybe warrior queen is more of the vibe. A little more vibe. powering. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Well, we but can I'll, all be warrior queen. I'll, I'll go with you on that. Okay. Yeah. I think that would be good. You know, my princess days are over. <laughs> it's just the queen now. Just the queen. <laughs> yeah, I used to say to my kids, um, you know, don't talk back to me. You're talking to the queen. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I might use that too. <laughs> You could use that with Aubrey. I, I could. Oh, she's you pretty. could use that with Ashley, too. I, I could, even though she's 29 and she knows more than I do now. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry. I remember when my youngest, who's now, she'll be 34 in a couple weeks. Um, so happy birthday, Chris, Aww. if you're watching. I don't know whether you are, but anyhow, if you're watching. Um, if not, I'll tell you about it. <laughs> when she was about 15, she said to me, Mom, how come you know so much? <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Hey. She looked at me, how come you know so much? And I said, well, because I'm seasoned. Mm. You know, I, like I am that. a seasoned woman. No, not like and a turkey. She, yeah. And <laughs> she goes, I want to be like that. Ooh. Wow. And Ooh. I said, okay, wow. get a little older and we'll talk. Yeah. Uh, wow. <laughs> yes. That's impressive. That is, At 15. That impressive. 15, she said that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and she says, I want to be like that. I want to be just like that. Wow. And, you know, and that's what we need to instill in our children and our mm -hmm. grandchildren is that you can be that. You can be you that. You can be anything you want to be. You can do anything yes. you want to. If you want to climb the, a mountain, yes, go do it. You might have to take baby steps like we talked about last week, taking baby steps. Yeah. You might get partly up the hill and then... Because you've got to remember, if you're doing something like that, something physical, yeah. running or whatever, you got to remember you have to have enough energy to get back. And you have to have enough minerals in your body. I right. heard somebody else that was uh, a friend of mine who had a friend that was running a marathon. The man was in good health in his 40s and had a heart attack. Oh, you know, if you're not drinking enough water and you're not getting selenium in your body, selenium actually... You mm. sweat out that last little bit of selenium, your heart will stop. So make sure that you are right. doing what you need to do before you go climb Mount Everest or you go run a marathon. Yeah, but, you know, take mini steps if yeah. you're going to do something right. like that. Like train. You can train. train. Yeah. And you yeah. can train learn how it. to support yourself That's in right. those important yeah. ways. I mean, yes. now that I'm not watching the kids, I'm trying to figure out what exercise. Yeah regiment I want to do. Yes. Um, <laughs> you say that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Find something that works for you. I, you know, and yoga on my deck works for me when, it, when, wow. it's, when well, it's good weather. Wow. I'm thinking about like doing that. the aerial yoga. <gasps> yeah. I want to do that too. We I all need to go do, do that. that. I do too. Oh, do? Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. Now that your shoulder's better. Let's yeah, my it. shoulder's wow. better. I'll be able to hold myself because for a while I couldn't do it because yeah. I it's like being I could in a not circus. hold myself up. <laughs> Yeah, it's like in your boy. It's it's awesome. Have you done it? Yes. Yes, she mm -hmm. has. Oh my yeah. god. We need to do that. I we need to do that. that. There's a place downtown um, called Fighting Gravity Fitness. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. And uh, Genevieve Ivy, the gal that I used to be in partners with when yeah. I had my office, she has aero yoga, but I'm not quite sure what all that's about with hers. But, oh, okay. And that's just down the road from where we live. Yeah, that's what I that's thought. That's on Broad Street. Oh, Somebody, it is? Somebody it's off of Broad me. Street on Homeview. Yeah. There you go. A little plug. Yeah. Home. Yeah, a little plug for her. Speaking of a plug, what are you up to now, girlfriend? Well, uh, Lisa Healthy is going to have a, an emotion code slash muscle testing workshop on September 30th at Resonance Float and Sound. What time is that? From 10 to 2. And then after that, I'm going to actually have time, 15-minute uh, segments where people can do the emotion code. If you don't know what that is, you can Google emotion code or you can come to my workshop and learn more, learn how to do it. And, yeah, I'd um, like to come. It's my grandson's birthday that Aww. day. He's going to be one. Really? Yeah. That's my daughter's birthday. Really? September 30th? Uh-huh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. September, my other, September's the, a good month. Yeah. yeah <laughs> my other daughter, the youngest one, who mm -hmm. thinks it's real cool to be seasoned, hers is September 28th. Oh, wow. Oh. September yeah. is a good month. It is. And, um, it's a great month. This is 
<clears throat> the last chance to get that sale price on the Neat Ken water filter and and the water bottle. Um, the sale price for this is 50. It will be 90 October 1st. And the waterfall, the bigger unit that you put on your countertop, is uh, 256, and it's going to 419. Yeah. So. And this is awesome. That is awesome. Really. Filters it's, your water it's the anywhere. Filter, it's like the waterfall to go. Yes, the waterfall to go. <laughs> Isn't it, Lisa? Yes, it is. So I it love helps it. to filter your water. It also um, adds the negative ions to the water and mm. helps to alkaline the water. Yeah, and right. if you've ever turned your faucet on, there are times throughout the month because we have, I guess, city water or something. Um, I'll smell chlorine, and yep. it's worse than being in a pool. Yep. Yeah. And you don't want to take that in your body because if you look at the periodic table, chlorine is above iodine, so is fluorine and bromine. So if you're taking any of those, it's going to mess with the iodine, and it's going to mess with your thyroid. Mm. So, so is, is that how it works, if it's above it? Mm -hmm. it yeah. Interesting. I never yeah. knew that. A little bit of chemistry in there. I don't know. I, I can't. I'll have to look. I don't know which one's first. Uh -huh. because, you know, bromine, chlorine, fluorine. What is it, that fluorine. Michael? Fluorine. Fluorine, chlorine, <laughs> bromine. Okay, and then iodine. iodine. Okay. 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 So he would know because he's a chemist. So oh. thank you, Michael. It helps to have a chemist on. Yeah. <laughs> See. <laughs> Everybody is so versatile. I know, right. We're all seasoned. Really? <laughs> really? And that's one way to be. But yeah, so if you're, if you're taking chlorine in or you're taking, you're brushing your teeth a lot with fluoride, but even drinking water, they put fluoride in it. Yeah, they do. You know, yeah. um, they're putting arsenic in fluoride yeah. in, in the drinking they're water. They're putting lye in there to make it alkaline right. so the pipes won't rust any worse than they right. are. And so. think of, and something people don't think about is their shower, and I have a Beacon fil shower filter as well. Mm -hmm. um, Ten minutes in the shower with chlorine, it turns into, uh, what is it? That, is it a gas? It turns it, what, what is it that they? Um, Ether? No, no. Um, it makes you sleepy. But anyway, um, oh. and that's why you get sleepy in the shower. Oh. I don't get sleepy in the shower. I'm, I'm running around too much in there to, <laughs> to get sleepy. I'm on a mission. Oh, you're on a mission. I am sure. on a mission in the morning. When I get up, it's like, I got to yeah. get this, yeah. I got to get this. In the shower, out the door, yeah. you know. Yeah. Going to get going. And get going. Yeah. So well, good for you. I don't try to leave grass underneath my feet in the morning. <laughs> I have things to do. Because I like to be on time. Yeah, I do too. I like yeah. to, you know, mm. if you people are not on time, you know, try to try to be more punctual. <laughs> Seriously. I know. I mean, but it doesn't make you all look good if you're not punctual. But, but, but if you're an action person, it, it's kind of hard to be on time. Right. Well, I'm, yeah, but I'm a light that fire underneath you to get there on time, yeah. you know, because it's You look at that me. I, I, no, I'm not <laughs> looking at you're, you. You're pointing to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, some women are lost in the fire. Some women are built in it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. we're the, hey, we're the phoenix, man. Yeah, yeah. there you we're go. We're going to rise above. Wow, that's a good there one. There you go. Yeah. Who so, said that? Um, Did you say that? Yeah. Another anonymous? Anonymous. Yeah, okay. I would have put that it down anonymous there. That is smart. I know. <laughs> and I don't know who would not want to take credit for that particular. That's a good one. Uh, for that particular I don't saying. Know. You know? Um, wow. That, I, I don't know. Mm. I don't know why. I like that. Yeah. Um, and the reason why I wrote these down is because I just thought it was interesting to share what other people have said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, to get people going. Um, maybe I'll post some of these on my Facebook page, or maybe I'll yeah. just put them all on a blog and put them on my website. Oh, that would be nice. That'd be um, very good. Yeah. And that's the easy way for me to get a blog. I don't make Ed happy, so he can put something on there. Oh, speaking of Ed, um, <laughs> <laughs> he he texts me today. He is a member of the Harmon Heirs, the Virginia Harmon Heirs, right mm. here, and um, they are doing a concert on Sunday at the Hope. Baptist Church down in Midlothian Ooh. on Woodpecker Drive, I think. I think it's at 7 oh. o'clock. Yeah. Where is that? It sounds familiar. It's in Midlothian. Well, I, yeah, I've yeah. seen I, it. I live in Midlothian, but I'm trying mm -hmm. to figure out where that is. Yeah, What's the so, Main Street it's off of? I know I've seen it. So anyhow, he's they're having a conference. A, 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 um, Concert? Yeah, a con concert. Thank you. <laughs> that thing. I'm allowed to have a senior moment. Yeah. <laughs> a concert, 
And um, I think it's at 7 o'clock. Refreshments will be served. Nice. Um, they're asking for donations. That's um, wonderful. So, and it, it's a great quartet. Um, I won't be able to go, but um, I hope other people will be able to go. Yeah. They do a wonderful job. They really do. So um, the Virginia Harmonaires, get in touch with them. Harmonaires is spelled H-A-R-M-O-N-H-E-I-R-S. Glad you mm. can say that. Okay. Yes. So, interesting. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. yeah, it's a good southern gospel Ooh. quartet of um, men um, in, their, in their seasoned age. Yeah, in their seasoned age. <laughs> you got to uh, watch what you say, you know? Yes, you do. Oh, my goodness. Really, really. So, um, you know, what I'm doing to help myself keep the fire within mm -hmm. me is um, my meditation in the morning. Mm. And I'm taking time for myself during the day. Mm. I'm putting on my calendar time for me. Mm -hmm because I feel that that's how I'm growing now and that's how I'm mm -hmm. learning. And um, I just find it important to do for you. Yes. You know, you have to do for me. So Lisa, what are you doing for you? Well, like I said, I like my yoga on the deck. I'm doing that. And um, So when it rains, where are you gonna do it? Well, I do it inside. Okay. But if it's just lightly raining, I still do it outside. So. Okay. Yeah. That's good stuff. So you don't slip you. on the mat? Um, sometimes I do we'll slip a little bit. <laughs> be careful. Yeah. She'll get in that position much faster, but it could be dangerous. I, I, I might be just hurt. doing a belly flop onto the, uh, you know, <laughs> the yoga mat. But uh, So doing that, you know, I'm trying to get some more workshops in there. Um, I forgot to mention I, I've got a Nikon event this Saturday from 10 to 2 mm. at Edible Education. And we're going to be talking about a life in balance. Mm. Mm. But I'm always making sure I get my sleep. My sleep is actually in my calendar. I have a block calendar on my phone. I have sleep in there. I have eat. I have break. Wow. Um, I have, yes, I have everything in That's there. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. And then, like, when I should be doing one-to-ones, when I should be working on speaking engagements, when I should be working on my blog. Because, that, you know, when you are your own boss, you... Um, have to have something telling you what you're going to be doing and that's Some what my structure. calendar does for me. Right. So and actually I have yoga in there too. I mm -hmm. either have yoga or meditation and that's always the first thing and then I have uh, prayer and reading my Bible. I do that online mm. and I do try mm -hmm. to do that every day as well. Yeah, I know my daughter does yeah. that. On, no, she does it on her phone. Uh, yeah. Well, it's, it's, I think it's the, it's the generational thing. Well, and I tell you, um, I love my paper bi Bible, but I uh, but I do like the fact that I've signed up on the website, and what they do is they remind me, like your, um, ah. you, like you, your healthy living with Marilyn mm -hmm. reminds me when I'm not here that your show is on. Mm -hmm. So it reminds me that um, my daily reading is available, and oh, try to you know, nice. do that each day. And if not, I'm catching up on the weekend. Right, right. So what do you do to keep the fire within you? <laughs> Well, in some ways, I, I feel like I have a bit of a wildfire going on inside <laughs> me. So it's, it's more the um, how to keep pace with it. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, in a way, I, I really feel like my drive and ambition to get where I want to go is sometimes my I'm single-minded in my focus, and I have to remember to... Um, like eat dinner with my family. <laughs> and do, I mean, not that I forget, yeah. but you know, I can get kind of pulled into whether it's a creative project I'm working on, writing, or so getting outside and walking for me is really good and really grounding. Um, and getting together with friends, like I, I do that a lot. And That's of awesome. course, my husband and I go out every Saturday night, pretty much like clockwork. So it's good. It's that, it's that balance, but there were a number of years where, I don't know if it was dormant or gestating or what the right word is, where I wasn't really able to pursue because of some other commitments, my, my fire. Mm. I, I was committed to taking care of my daughter through a healing crisis. And so now that it's my time, it's like that fire. <laughs> Like Igniting a huge flame. <laughs> it's a bonfire. How can people get in touch, touch with you, Jenny? So they can get in touch with me through my website, which is revolutionaryheart.com. Um, 
I also have a podcast, which is called Trust Your Sacred Feminine Flow, which you can find on iTunes or Stitcher. Mm -hmm. um, it's also on the, uh, my website as well. And I have a couple of things coming up. Um, I work with wise women who are, who are ready to create kind of their offering to the world, who are, who are in that place of they feel the call, but they're not sure of how to put it out in the world or what they even want to put out in the world mm -hmm. sometimes. So I have a wise woman success circle that's getting ready to start on the 9th of October. And I do some work with something called Sacred Money Archetypes, which is a system of looking at how we relate to money. And I have a workshop coming up in November on the 18th. Are those on your website? Um, actually, they're not on the website yet. But if you friend me on Facebook, they will be there soon. Or if you go to my Facebook page for Revolutionary Heart, Dot com. They'll be there soon as well. Okay. Those are some of the things I'm fast and furiously working okay. on <laughs> with that fire. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Like Judy and I have been working on our retreat, mm -hmm. you know, to get that going. Yes. And uh, like I said, if you all want to come, it only costs $50 to save your seat. And then it's $275, and it's October 13th, 14th, and 15th. Wonderful. It's the Friday night, all day Saturday and Sunday, and you will go home with a plethora of different things yeah. that you will be creating while you are there, okay. which is cool. And it's come in comfortable clothes because we will do yoga and meditation, and you don't have to bring mats. We will supply the mats. Nice. nice. So if they want to buy them, scarf dancing. And scarf yes, dancing. the scarf dancing. Um, yep. It's That's just going to be an enlightening, it'll, it'll flame the fire in you. Yeah. I guarantee you that. It will light your fire so you are building yes. it inside you. You know, I, I saw this um, and I wrote this down. I survived because the fire inside me burned brighter than the fire around me. Mm. You know, and having that fire in you gets you motivated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... I'm always trying to find ways if I'm in a limbo state, what am I going to do to motivate myself? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I want to motivate me. Yeah. It's so important to motivate me because nobody's going to motivate you. Anyway. you got, it's got to come from inside. I mean, other people can get you motivated, yes. but your motivation, am I right? Yes. Your motivation yes. has to come from inside. But from sometimes inside. it comes from seeing other people that are motivated. Right. Right. Or they'll inspiring. give you ideas. Inspiring. Right. Inspiring. inspiring. Something ideas. inspiring. Right. Um, Nick uh, Volt. What, how, I can't say his last name. Um, he, um, What's he do? Well, he was born without arms or legs. Oh, oh. okay. Wow. Very motivating. Um, and wow. then you can um, Google Jessica's affirmations. A little girl in the mirror telling herself how beautiful and wonderful oh, she is. Is she that really little girl? Mm -hmm. She's adorable and she's oh. looking in the mirror and saying, you're great, you're wonderful, I love you. <laughs> That's another way. Yeah. Hug yourself. Hug Tell yourself. yourself how much you love yourself. Look in the mirror and say, I love me. Yeah. Yes. You know, that I do that all the time. I posted an article just the other day and said, are you kind to yourself? Right. Mm. Because yeah. we are not kind to ourselves no. and we're always putting ourselves down and yeah, saying we can't do this and we can't do that. I'm not smart enough. I'm not right. You know, I can't do this. I'm I can't not successful. Do that. But right. yeah, yeah. But it's, it's so all about get, finding get that. rid of the negativity, yes. the negative thoughts, and turn it into I am. I can. I can. I will. Or I am. I have the power to be successful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Put that up on your mirror. Yeah. I have the power to be successful. Yeah. There's words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. Make yourself a vision board. I made myself a vision board earlier this week, and I cut out some things because we're going to do vision boards at the retreat, and I cut out some things, and my intuition said, don't muddle your vision board. Mm -hmm. Don't put a whole bunch of stuff mm -hmm. because I've always been taught, oh, you put everything you want on your vision board. Well, if you do that, where do I start? Really? Where do well, I start I don't when know. I have I've, a muddled I've, I've been adding board. to mine. It's kind of funny because I have mine taped to the wall above my desk. And now my vision board has started to expand on the <laughs> wall. <laughs> well, see, if you're expanding it, that's one thing. Yeah. But if you're putting things on top of one yeah. another on top of one then another. Then you can't see. Then yeah. you can't see it. Yeah. And it's muddled. And so I made this vision board for yoga and exercising. Mm -hmm. 
just yeah, very like simple that. for me. Cool. And I'll take a picture of it and put it on my Facebook yeah. page. And I have it on my closet door. Yeah. Because what do you have to do every day to get dressed? You got to go in your closet. Yeah. In your closet. That's <laughs> right? right? Yeah. You have to go it's, in your closet. And I did. Um, I've so done, put it where you can, where you're going to be every or day. Or do several. I've done several vision boards. I um, have two. I do a, a training through Nikon called Humans Being More. Mm. And my first vision board, I had pictures of people skiing, snow skiing. Because at the time, um, doctors told me I probably never, would never go snow skiing again because of the osteopenia, uh, which is a precursor to osteoporosis. And it hurt all over. And so I had these people skiing on there. So when was it, 2015, the whole family went, ski I went skiing. And I was just so, yeah, there yeah, you go. so excited to be able to get up and do that. Yeah, my skiing days are over because I got bad knees. So, and I don't want to have anything else happen to my knees. Okay. So yeah. I'm very careful. Careful with your knees. So doing a, an aerial yoga, for me, it's not an impact on my yes. knees I because you're up in the sky. Or yes. swimming. Yes. Swimming. Yes. Or so, swimming. Or I like to dance. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Put some good inspirational oh, yeah. music on or like some empowerment, light right. a fire music. Like mm -hmm. this girl is on fire. Have uh, you heard that song? Yes, it's a great mm -hmm. song. Oh, yeah, Keys. put that on. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Keys, dance. Yeah, yeah dance as if nobody's watching. That's Sing as if right. nobody's listening. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> You're listening. Just do it, you know. Um, Jacob and I had... He likes to listen to Thomas the Train. I got a Thomas the Train <laughs> music CD. Aww. We listen to it all the time, and I have videos of him dancing and yeah. singing to Thomas the Train. There you and go. He was doing it today again, and sometimes he looks really serious, and then other times... <laughs> And he's got most of the words memorized, and I just sit there in awe, you know, uh, that's, just watching. That's it's like my so granddaughter. Precious. She loves Moana. We've Moana. watched Moana a couple of times. We'll probably watch it again when she comes over tomorrow. But, um, yeah, it's, she gets up, she sings, she dances, she loves yeah. it. It's, it's wonderful. I mean, right. go out and... Like, to be that free. To be like free. Like, you can be Think that about, free. If you want... Yeah. Go go on a bicycle ride, you know, if you have a bicycle. If you don't, I think downtown at the docks in the city, mm. you can rent bicycles down there. Can you? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, there's a place where you can. I don't know exactly where it is, but down mm. on the docks by Canal, oh, nice. Canal Street, down in Shaco Bottom, you can rent bicycles. There's other places you can rent bicycles. So, um, yeah. you know, or if you're going to the beach, you can rent bicycles there. You can rent those trolley things that you can cycle um, you can't do that by yourself. You need a couple people on there. But, um, you know, try something new. Yeah. Try something new. Yeah. If you haven't gotten a massage, go get a massage. Do that for yeah. yourself. A couple of years ago, I went zip lining. There you go. Yes. That was fun. I did that I last did winter. That. I saw you. Did. Woo! Yeah, that that's on my bucket list. <laughs> I just haven't fun. done it. And, and, and a good, you know, Barb Satterwhite jumped out of an airplane on her 60th birthday. Woo! In tandem, of course, you know. Yeah. Not by herself, but, uh, but I was like, Yeah, but just to do it. I'm not sure I could do that, but zip lining was pretty cool. Yeah. I'd really like to do the... Um, hang gliding down at the Outer oh, Banks. Oh, wow. Nice. I, we, we went up to Kill Devil Hills and watched them take off. It's awesome. I, we didn't do it, but we were watching people do that. It's it was, awesome. It's pretty. Now, I have parasailed before. Have you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I was 15. Me too. Oh, wow. But I have parasailed when I, I did, we did a lot of water skiing when we were growing up. I did too, but I never parasailed. <laughs> well, I did one time. It was on a dare, and it's like, oh, come on, Marilyn, you can do this. It's like, oh, okay, you say I can do that, I can. And I'm not good on heights, oh. so. Um, but I did it, and it was a lot of fun. And I did it a couple times. Parasailing is a lot of fun. That's so awesome. it is. Um, it is. It is. And a it's lot of fun. yeah. It's I was less fearful of that than the the zip line, like the jumping off to yeah. start the zip line. <laughs> Well, we, in one, one tower we were easier. on, we did this in Hilton Head, and one tower, the last tower we were on, was pretty high up, and you could actually see the water, but it was swaying. I, my, I thought my husband turned green. I was like, you better go quick. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to be careful. You know, but yes. stepping outside of your comfort zone. Yes. Yeah. Now, I yeah. the, the chapter I wrote in my book is, There Is No Box. Believe me, friends, oh. there is no, <laughs> no box. box. The box that you have is this self-imposed box you put on mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. There is no box. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Light that fire underneath you. Get yourself motivated. 
Um, you can contact Lisa or me or Joni um, to give you our, our ideas and hints or we'll talk to you to get, tell yeah. you how we've done it. Um, because we've all had our bumps in, yes. along the road. Mm -hmm. But that's how you make it. Mm -hmm. Not doing it is failure. Keep moving will make you more successful. Yeah. Am I right? That's right. Amen. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Step yeah. by step. Step by, by step. step. Take tiny steps. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm taking a class right now where my, my homework is meditating for 15 minutes every morning and then jotting stuff down. Yeah. Just words. It doesn't have to make sense. Just mm. do it, you know. Mm. You know, just remember, one person with passion is better than 40 people that are merely interested. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like that. I like mm -hmm. that, too. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are the passionate one, find other people that are passionate. Yeah. Find people that are interested in what you are interested in. Mm -hmm. Go to some networking events. Um, don't say that you can't do it. Yeah. Just get some business cards and find some networking events. In our area, there's probably 35 networking oh. events every day. <laughs> the networkdoctor.com. Right. She, she'll send you an email full of networking events. Right. So, or check networking events, wherever you live in the world, check, check networking events, Google it yeah. in your area. I've known people that have, I have met people that have just gone to a networking event I went to because they found it online. Yeah. And they weren't, you know, they, they wanted to do something that night. Seriously. Really? Yeah. 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 Um, get yourself out there. Do something for yourself. I know I've said this before a gazillion times, but... <laughs> Take a class on herbs or learn more about healthy eating or natural healing. You know, the, the diet for the American person is the standard American diet. Well, you know what the acronym is, SAD, S-A-D. Well, we don't want to be sad while we're eating. Don't look at that pyramid that they made, and I think now it's a plate or something. I don't yes, know what happened to the pyramid. Plate. Well, you, you need to flip the pyramid Obama upside down. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So... <laughs> You've got this beautiful body. Take care of it. Yeah. Do something for yourself. Yeah. Nurture yourself. Love yourself. Yeah. Because when you love yourself, it's a whole lot easier to love a lot of other people. If you hate yourself, that's not going to work. And that's not going to yeah. help motivate you. That's not going to keep you going, mm -hmm. which is important. You really need to st keep going yeah. and moving through your issues. If you get a bump in the road, you can get through that. Like, what did Winston Churchill say that again? If you're going through hell, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You know, we all have our little hellish moments during the day. Okay. Um, sometimes we have more than what we can deal with, but you can get through them. Mm -hmm. Go get yourself a glass of water. Make sure you stay hydrated. You know, mm -hmm. for every pound you weigh, you have to drink half your ounces in water. Mm -hmm. So if you weigh 150 pounds, which would be my dream, um, you got to drink 75 ounces of water, but don't start drinking that right away because no. you'll start ODing on water and your stomach will slosh, your eyeballs will start floating. <laughs> and that's just not. And for every extra hour that you're um, exercising, another eight ounces. Yeah, and if you drink caffeine, mm. you got to drink two ounces for every ounce of caffeine that you drink mm. on top of what you're already supposed to drink. So that's uh, why I don't drink caffeine. That's a lot of water. Yep. That's a lot of water. So I just eliminated everything else. <laughs> Works for me. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and the way you can check is if you yeah, pinch your skin. Pinch your skin, and if it goes down, that means that you're hydrated. Yeah. So I must be hydrated. And speaking of hydrated, we are going to cheer yep. each other. Yep. And great show. Thank you. And change your life today. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>